Happy Friday, Cedar Park. Up ahead, your top three things with Carver McDonald. Plus a sports report and a soccer hype video. Also, catch your weekend destinations and an all-new pet of the week. Let's jump in because the Wolfcast starts now. Good morning, I'm Abby Martinez, joined by Jack Polshik and Katie Whitmarsh. First up, your top three things you need to know with Carver McDonald. Good morning, Seth Park. I am coming down with your top three things for today. First, this money president Biden announced his match and supported Supreme Court nomination judge Kanji Brown Jackson. If confirmed, Jackson will be the first black woman served on the Supreme Court. She would also be the second youngest justice on the current court at age 51. Next, Texans can expect to pay higher prices for a gas a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Russia, along with Texas, is one of the world's top oil procedures, with the uncertainty of how sanctions will impact Russia's exports price are at all-time high. Finally, girls basketball is playing Corpus Crisis veterans, Memo and San Antonio, in round four of the state playoffs at 7.30 p.m. The girls are on a 58 main streak. That is the third longest achieved main streak in the country. If they win tonight, they will play again Saturday at 2 o'clock. Good luck to our defending state champions. Go get the moves. That's all I have for you today. Have a marvelous Friday. For CPS News, I'm Carl McDonald. Back to you guys. Thanks, Carver. So our girls basketball team, they really are on top. They're on their A game right now. I know. They really, I know we got to go to the game a couple days ago and mm -hmm. they're just, like the sense of like team and like how they all support each other is really good. Did, yeah. did he say that they had the third like largest streak in the country? I, apparently, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, but that is very. Is that true? I I'm gonna get I'm gonna guess so. That's very yeah. impressive. They're also I think, 14th in the country right now, which is like, very impressive. Yeah, they're so, kind of cracked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> This coming Monday, FCA and Cedar Park Young Life will be combined for a night full of fellowship and fun. Held on campus here in the small gym, come out from 7 to 8.30 for free pizza, games, and a guest speaker, and more. For more information, contact Coach Jinsky. And now, a sports report with Katie and Reese, but first, these announcements. Hello Cedar Park, welcome back to the Wolfcast Sports Report. I'm Katie Whitmarsh. And I'm Reese Elizondo. Let's start with our girls basketball team. The Timberwolves will play Corpus Christi Veterans Memorial in round four of the playoffs tonight at the Blossom Athletic Center starting at 7.30. If you can make it, we hope to see everyone there. Next, girls soccer defeated the Leander Lions on Tuesday with a final score of 5-2. The Lady Hills will play Liberty Hill Panthers tonight at Liberty Hill starting at 7.15. Good luck, ladies. And over to boys soccer on Tuesday. They Played hard but fell to Leander 0-2. The boys will play Liberty Hill here at home starting at 7.15. Good luck boys and we hope to see y'all there. Finally, there's a track meet tomorrow and dripping swings. Good luck to everyone competing. That's all we have for you today with CPHS News. I'm Katie Whitmarsh. And I'm Reese Elizondo. Here's a soccer hype video.
Up next, Reagan Hillinger's Weekend Destinations. Reagan? Hello, Cedar Park High School, and happy Friday. My name is Reagan Hill, and I'm here with your Weekend Destinations. First, the annual Austin Oyster Festival is this Saturday with oysters of all kinds. Get your oysters served raw, grilled, roasted, or fried, along with other delicious seafood. And you can enjoy your oysters with some live local music. General admission is $70, and this admission includes the entrance fee, live entertainment, and seven festival vouchers for food. Go to AustinOysterFestival.com to buy tickets. Next, in honor of Black History Month, Six Square has teamed up with Black History Bike Ride to present an event that will not only let you learn about the incredibly important contributions of black women in the city, but help you get your cardio in. This Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., bike around Austin, expanding your knowledge and concluding your bike ride at Carver Museum with some snacks to munch on. Cost is $30 per person, and this also includes an exclusive walkthrough of the museum's latest exhibit, Peace to the Ocean. Go to eventbrite.com to get your ticket. Lastly, who doesn't love a good old game of mini golf? I recommend trying the Monster Mini Golf and Laser Tag. This monster theme mini golf chain features a glow-in-the-dark course plus arcade games, laser tag, laser mazes, and a DJ. This fun building is located in Round Rock, Texas, and if you want to learn more about price options, go to monsterminigolf.com. And that is all I have for you today, Cedar Park. I hope everyone has a fantastic Friday and an amazing weekend. With CVHS News, I'm Reagan Hill. So, um, I think $70 for oysters is a little bit much. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think so too. I was like, oh. I mean, it's a seven vouchers, and it's like live music, and like to get in, so. Mm -hmm. Do y'all even I mean, like oysters? I've never had oysters never before. Had I've never had one, but I think the idea of them, it's like a thing they, with the... It doesn't like seem shooting. Shooting. They it's taste like pretty weird. good. I just oh, can't I really get oh. past the texture. Oh, Jack's tried it. Well, yeah, no, I've had them. <laughs> the texture, yeah. They just, I don't you know. You seem like an oyster guy. <laughs> I like clams. Like clams. Clams? Never yeah. had clams either. Yeah. You know, it's good shrimp and calamari. Well, I've had calamari. Calamari's good. I so like good. Fried like clams. I've had them in like Florida and they're really good. Oh, really? You're too exotic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I don't know. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment, Pet of the Week. Our Pet of the Week is Junior Kylie Young's wiener dog, Sweet Pea. Kylie received Sweet Pea as a surprise gift 12 years ago. Sweet Pea can be described as feisty and sassy, and food is her top priority. When she's not eating, you'll find her sarcastically side-eyeing people, but rest assured, we here at the Wolfcast think she's as cute as a cinnamon bun. If you'd like your pet to be featured on Pet of the Week, direct messages on our Instagram account at CPHS News. That's all we have for you today. Make sure you're keyed up with all of our content, so head over to our YouTube at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during the games. Make sure to tune in to Monday's show for a rundown on DECA, a sports report, and your scholarship of the week. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Jack Polishuk. And I'm Abby Martinez. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have an amazing weekend, Cedar Park.